Okay, so now we're back inside just to finalise everything else off. Um, so we put this here up before. So during travel, uh, we have to actually take the cushions off there uh, and put them on this side for this here to fold down. So we just uh, put these back into place. Okay, and that's done. Um, now just while I am here, if anyone is using this here as a bed, it can be done. Okay, it's just uh, lift, fold the table legs up, lift these couple of clips up here, and then you can lift the table off. Stays up there. Lift the table off, and then it sits down on these tracks on each side. So. Uh, and then, we just have to uh, move the move the cushions around, and there's the uh, the extra bed where you can fit another child or a couple of children. Okay, so also uh, the TV. We had the TV on that side before. Here's our TV. There's the two cables poking up through the bench here. Uh, there's an aerial plug and a power plug. And then uh, you know you can set the TV down here if you want, or it can uh, fit up there. Uh, the TV remote is in the cutlery drawer. And then if we turn that on. If for some reason there's no power at the TV, it may be because um, you know, people have been down a, a, a bumpy road or a dirt road or something, and the power cigarette lighter power socket under the cupboard here, which is in the back of here, may have um, just come out. Otherwise, uh, yeah, to tune the TV, we just go to uh, press the menu button, arrow down to auto tuning, Australia, and it'll tune, because every time you move to a different location, you need to uh, retune the TV. Uh, also here, you've got um, the roof hatch here. You can open that up um, as well. You know, you can also close it off at night time, or uh, yeah, let the air in with a bit of fly screen there. The stove, we lift that up. Four burner gas stove. Um, it's Actually, the gas bottles are turned off at the moment, but if you just turn the knob, press the button, once it's lit, wait five or six seconds, and then let the button out, and it'll stay going. There is also the grill under here. There's a little handle in there that uh, hooks into there for putting the grill plate in and out. We've also got uh, the microwave, we hooked up the 240 power. Uh, the microwave, you'll find a couple of microwave containers and uh, Salad bowl. Uh, got a fair bit of, not a lot of storage uh, here. Uh, also, in this cupboard here is all where your plates are. There's also a strainer, uh, pots, and fry pan are underneath there. Um, you can take these cushions out of here, and then you've got some shelves to uh, store food or whatever you like. It's just that when you're traveling, um, you'd have to take out whatever's in there, especially if you've got cans of stuff or something, because that obviously folds down onto there. The little drawer on this side here has all your uh, cups, breakfast bowls, coffee mugs, a couple of wine glasses for that. Getting back to uh, the kitchen part here, this is a hand pump, okay, um, probably don't really need to worry about that too much because there is an uh, electric water pump here, um, that's your plug. To turn the pump on, though, to pump the water out of the tanks. We have our battery system and everything down here. So when you're traveling, I just ask you to turn that pump switch there off um, because otherwise if the, the tap moves just a little bit in transit, it's only going to move a millimeter, the tap will start running and you'll either lose all your water when you get to where you want to be. There'll be no water left. Um, doesn't happen all the time, but you know, the tap's only going to move a millimeter. So if you turn that off though, of course, then the pump won't activate and you won't lose the water driving along. So yeah, when we're parked up, we turn that on, make sure both of those are on. Then down here, this is our electrical um, panel. It's got all the information on it. It's got the water tank levels. 
if I bring that up. So at the moment, both water tanks are full, so they're showing 100%. Battery's at 99%, charge rate. Um, it's got three amps of solar going into it at the moment here. And down the bottom here is where we have our, um, our other pump and hot water switches. So even though that's on, that's like an isolator to it. It's controlled here. So when the screen is uh, like dull like that, you press that button once to turn the pump on, it brings the screen up to full brightness. You press it a second time, the little green symbol comes on. So with the hot water one, you press that, see the HWS on, and this here will turn on. It's got instant gas hot water. So now that that's on, when we turn the tap on, the pump will come on and we've got our water. Okay, if we've got our one our hot water, we turn the pump on about 15 seconds later. The, uh, we'll have hot water coming out of here because the gas system will fire up and it'll take the water temperature up to 50 degrees. So that's uh, how that works. Um, so yeah, that'll show you how much charge is in the battery and how much time you've got left and all that sort of thing. There's a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter socket just down here to plug into. You've got a couple of USB ports here and a power point and that's the aircon remote if you're on uh, 240 power. Just the same as like a aircon remote at home. Stereo is by the door there. Uh, stereo is a stereo. There's only inside speakers here. Obviously the fire extinguisher for safety. And in here we've got a um, our gas kettle. Okay, there's only, for hot water in this uh, van, I've only got a gas kettle, the not an electric one, because of how we're a bit limited on space. And that's books on how everything in the van works. And these fans, there's one for each bed end. They hook into the light up here. And then hook on to this hockey stick pole like that and then you've got a fan you slide that along or you've got a light for there now because once you close these curtains of course you know that's the only light that you've got in the bed section so push that oh. otherwise our lights here on the roof they're all uh there's three lights on the roof, individually switched on and off. Bit of blue mood lighting, or you've got the white light. So also throughout these drawers here, um, you know, we've got obviously all our cutlery and cooking stuff here, all your utensils that um, you're gonna need, some egg rings and things, the dishwashing, the sponge there. Down here, looks like a bit of a mess, but it's more like Tetris. We've got our toaster, if you're on 240 power, there's some rubbish bags, dishwashing liquid, hand soap, air guard, fly spray, a bit of olive oil spray, tissues, and a first aid kit there uh, just in case uh, it's needed. So that's all back into there. And there we've got that's our hot water system, stubby holders. If anyone's not sure how anything works, phone numbers on the bottom of the stubby holder. Yeah, to uh, just give us a call and I can probably help you out. Turn the TV off now, it's found its channel. Uh, the fridge here too, it's a three-way uh, fridge, gas, uh, 12 volt, only when the car is connected, or obviously 240 power. You just uh, press the power button there to turn it on. Now the battery switches have to be on, um, on the screen there and if it'll show whatever mode is selected um gas ac or dc so we've got no power connected at the moment so it's trying to light on gas and then you just uh change your temperature up by the set button there and it's um if the aes lights on there it's on automatic so as soon as you plug power in it'll swap over the power if you plug your car in and it's wired up with a 12 pin plug or a 7 and an anderson plug then it'll work on the car. Otherwise, with just a straight seven pin plug, um, the fridge won't work in transit. Uh, just remind me of something though too, yeah, if you, if for some reason someone's been pressing buttons or might have bumped it or so, and all of a sudden it's like there's no power in the entire van, 
It could be because the power button here has been bumped, which also switches off the fridge because it needs 12 volt power to run. So if there's all of a sudden, there's no, it seems like there's no power anywhere, the lights don't work or anything, maybe someone's just bumped this here. It does actually happen a bit. If you just press that power button, the first one lights the screen up, does nothing. Okay, the second time you press it, you hear a click from the battery system under here. It'll show back up here your voltages and your amps, and then everything will be working again. Mm. So, if there's ever also any um, fault codes, alarm codes come up down the bottom here um, in red, you can actually clear those codes off by just uh, holding the power button and it um, beeps and blanks out and resets it. So, uh, that's pretty much about everything inside. Obviously, too, these windows, like you've got all the curtains here that undo so you can cover everything at night time. There's so much, um, you can undo like all the three sides on the beds. Then you can also unzip these windows. And you can have, uh, you know, they come down, you can open up basically the entire, you know, all sides, I'll, I'll open up the bed ends, everything. So the wind just blows straight through it. It's great for uh, cooling on those warmer days. Alright, so that's it for the inside of uh, our camper trailer.